All right, today we're gonna to talk about the I term and why instead of calling it P-I-N-D, it should really be called I-P-D. Okay, so what do I mean by IPD? So you can really remember it by interpupillary distance. It's the same thing we adjust on our goggles. But what I mean is the I term, the P term, and the D term. The I term is really just a very slow P term. They both act the same kind of way where they try to close the pit area. They measure the gap, the difference between the sticks and where the gyro's at. So if I command a rate to go to the right, you know, and the quad's lagging that, that's gonna be a pit error, a gap between what I'm commanding versus what the quad's actually doing. It will then, start to spin up the motors on the left hand side and make it push to go to the right. The problem with the I term alone, just like the P term, is that as the pit error is closing and it's approaching, there's no braking force to stop it going the other way. It will actually overshoot before it would then start to apply braking force to go the way. So it's gonna have a natural tendency to oscillate back and forth. So if you get a slow oscillation, that's gonna be your I term being the issue. You need more P term to dampen that oscillation. And then if you get a fast oscillation because now you've increased your P term, then you're gonna need more D term to quell that. So you can see what I'm talking about when it's I, then P, then D. They kind of go in that order for which ones dampen the oscillation for the next. So I term alone will have a slow oscillation. Then if you increase P term, that will dampen that I term oscillation. But then again, then you'll just start to get faster oscillations. Then you'll need to increase D term to address the P term oscillation. So they kind of go in that order, that chain of effect. So just like we have a P to D balance, you also have an I to P balance. So with that, let's do a couple of flights on our quad here where we're just gonna have I term at the defaults and we're gonna set the P term and the D term at five for the PID gain. And then we're gonna bring up P term and then finally we'll bring up the D term. Okay, so you can see in the first test here, the I terms at default were way too high and it just kind of oscillated out of control. I brought down the I gains to 40 on roll and pitch now, and you can immediately see, you know, you can fly. This is, but you see how there's a lot of, a lot of wobble. So you will see, if you see these slow kind of wobbles, you know, they're not going to be this drastic, right? You're going to have, you know, less drastic wobbles when you're dealing with, I hate to try to do a roll. Um, you can see if I do sharp stick inputs, how it wobbles back and forth. But if you're getting wobbles like that, that's because your eye gains might be a little too high. Woo, baby. Don't try that. <laughs> Uh, and it's just your I to P ratio might be too high. So you need to bring down your I gains or bring up your P gains. It's, it, it really doesn't matter which one you do and you have the sliders. That's really kind of the difference there between the master slider and the P and D gain slider. So anyways, now let's uh, land it here and bring up my P gains and see what that looks like for a difference. So now this one we brought up our P gains. So we have eyes of 40s on pitch and roll and we brought our P gains up to uh, 30 on both. And you can see immediately, like I was talking about, those oscillations are gone, you know, and I still have a D term of five. So I don't have any oscillations now anymore. I can do much more aggressive moves here, just twitching back and forth. I don't have anything. And we'll take a look at the log here in a little bit. Or I'll put that up on the screen. Can even do a little bit of acro moves. It's a, it's a whole new quad. Prop wash isn't awesome. But it's not too bad, is it? Look at that. Just by I terms at 40 and P terms at 30. You can see how the P term really just dampens those I term oscillations. I don't see any oscillations anymore. Let's do a prop wash moves here. A little bit of bounce back. I'm not there on that one, but the other ones we had. 
this quad is so good with uh, a little bit of bounce back there but it's such a good quad with power to weight ratio or power to nursa ratio if you're a patron and we're on that 10 inch tune video um, it really has nothing to do with the weight it has to do with the moment of inertia you can see a little bounce back there and again that's the no d term so let's bring it in and then we'll just uh, put on our normal tune for this and then we'll be in good shape beat it mutt come out here I'm out here. Come on, come on. Way out here. Come on, Poochie. Come on, you can do it. Way out here. Come on, doggy doggy. Come on, way over here. Get your exercise. Come on. Come on, doody doggy. You little doggy. Oh, you're not going to get me. All right, and then finally, this is with the tune pids. Oh, I have that. I move the um, PD balance up a little bit. I need to bring that back down. All right, this is bringing the D terms down to 40. There you go. I don't have that oscillation anymore. And then obviously with a fully tuned quad, We get the best of both worlds. My PD balance might be off a little bit because I, I brought down the D terms without bringing down the P terms because I just have the DJI here. I don't have the sliders with me. Ooh. Yo yo. Need practice. course we don't get any bounce back anymore a little bit of flutter there again my P terms are a little too high in proportion to my D term there so anyways this flight is more for me than from you guys but you get the point of the balance between the I term and then the P term and then how that ultimately goes to the D term to quell any oscillations in the p-term. So hopefully that helps with the understanding of some i-term behavior and how if you're getting some wobbles that are slow that's likely that your i to p balance is off and you need to either lower your p and d term together so lower the p and d gain slider altogether or reduce your i term altogether so in that scenario you could lower your master slider and then bring your P and D gain slider up to kind of get a lower I term and again adjust that I to P balance. If you found this interesting and you like this content please do check out the Patreon. We're going to take a deeper dive and pull up some black box and some flight footage and kind of dissect that to show how those traces look between how to detect if you really have your I to P balance a little too high and even a little too low. But for now thanks everybody and I hope this helped.